point to me when you're ready to go. Good morning, South Charleston Public Library. We are so sorry we couldn't be there today. Our van had an issue this morning and we weren't able to take our sharks to you guys. But we are going to do a quick little video to have you guys learn a little bit about sharks. And we're working on rescheduling so we can bring our mobile shark tank to you. So right behind us is a 385,000 gallon shark tank. And my friend Nick here, an incredible wave educator, he's going to talk to you and educate you a little bit more about these sharks and some of our cool shark artifacts. Awesome. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, we are in front of our really awesome shark tank. And uh, if we were there, we would have brought out this really cool shark tank, uh, but sadly we weren't able to do that. So, just a little bit about sharks. Uh, sharks are a type of fish. Uh, they have gills. They breathe underwater. Uh, but they're a little bit different from a bony fish like you would find when you go fishing, like a bluegill. So some of the differences, they have different numbers of gills, they breathe a little bit differently, and generally they're going to eat different things. But the main thing, if you wiggle your ears, wiggle your nose, that is something called cartilage. And sharks are made out of cartilage, which is a little bit different than what a bony fish would be made out of. So something like a bluegill is made out of this hard bone. Whereas sharks are really flexible, they move very smoothly in the water. So they're going to have that type of thing like your ears. Now, um, with that cartilage, the, um, there's only one bone in a shark's body, and that would be their teeth. Now, the spine and jaw, a lot of people think those are also bone, but really that's actually uh, cartilage where the stuff that makes your bones really strong in milk, calcium, calcium will actually gather around that spine, that jaw, and it makes it really, really tough, almost as tough as your bone, but it's still flexible. All right, so moving on a little bit to what sharks eat. So there are three types of eaters in the shark family. The first that we're gonna talk about is the flesh eaters. So your things like great white sharks, your sandbar sharks, your sand tiger sharks if they were conveniently swimming by, but they aren't. So these guys are gonna be your sh uh, sharks that have very sharp teeth. And what's really cool about those, they have a ton of rows, if you can see that. <laughs> and every, about every single time they eat, they lose a tooth. So it's constantly next one up, popping up. And these teeth are pointed back to their throat. So these guys love to eat things with flesh. So uh, sea lions, for example. So if a sea lion got their uh, flipper stuck in their mouth, they would just be able to tear that meat right off. So even if the sea lion was able to get away, the shark would still have a nice meal. Now, the second type of eater, oh, and that is the sand tiger shark right there, finally swimming by. And then the next one we're gonna talk about is this amazing creature right here, the shark ray. And these guys are a little bit different. Their mouths look a lot like this instead. So, as you can see, they have uh, pearly teeth, kind of like your molars, how they grind together. These guys are going to eat things like lobsters, crabs, so crustaceans. So these guys crunch up their food using those tough molars. And then the third type of shark is actually the biggest one the whale shark. And these guys are filter feeders. So they'll open their mouth super wide, almost wider than I am tall, probably much wider since I'm pretty short. But these guys swim through the water with their mouths wide open and catch all the krill, plankton, everything, all the little tiny things that they can. And what's really cool, if you look at about any really, really big animal, whether it's elephants, whale sharks, giraffes, um, a lot of uh, blue whales, all of those guys eat the very tiniest things in the entire ocean. And even though that's so small, they manage to survive really, really big. Like these guys are longer than a school bus and about 40 feet long. Now, I know what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that sharks also like to eat people, but this here, is the image of a sea turtle. And sharks don't have super great vision underwater because most animals that live underwater don't have to see very well. They don't have great color vision. But that also looks kind of similar to a sea lion. 
Now, there's something else that looks very similar to these images, and that is a human surfer. So to a shark, they can't really see too much of a difference when they're looking at us. But uh, using their ampullae of Lorenzini, which is this little tiny organ in their nose, and um, that helps them detect the movement of blood, so they can sense that we're there. They just don't really know what we are yet. So they have to do a little tiny bump and then an exploratory bite. Now sadly, if that's something like a great white shark, they're actually going to do quite a bit of damage, but they hate the taste of us because we eat things like McDonald's, like we drink things like pop or soda, and we taste terrible. So they'll never actually swallow us. They don't eat us. They sometimes attack because they think we're food, but they don't like the taste of us, so they'll spit us out and just be on their way. <laughs> now, something going on to some of the things that eat sharks. Conveniently enough, we have one of our groupers swimming by, and these guys actually eat some of the smaller types of sharks. These guys can weigh about 500 pounds. And then um, a lot of, uh, a bunch of different animals eat sharks, but other sharks eat sharks. So I want all of you kids that are there listening to this to thank your parents right now because when a mommy shark has a baby shark, if she's hungry, she'll turn right around and eat that baby shark. So you guys should thank your parents for not eating you when they had you. Because I'm sure they were kind of hungry, a little bit grumpy, not in the best mood. So definitely thank them for that. And then uh, some other animals eat sharks. So the killer whale is a huge predator of sharks. They have actually found that they have 15 to 20 pound brains. And with those, they've learned that they can hunt in packs to take down the great white shark. So they're actually above the great white shark in the food chain, which is really amazing to think about. And then the biggest thing that eats sharks, the most detrimental in my mind is humans. We eat sharks in something called shark fin soup. Now sadly, what happens is when fishermen take these sharks out, they'll cut one of the fins off and then that fin goes into soup. But they'll toss that shark back into the ocean and one really important thing for sharks, as you can see with so many of them in here, they can't stop swimming. They have to swim in order to breathe. But if they get tossed back in, they end up going to the bottom of the ocean and end up drowning. So one of the best things we can do to help sharks and all animals in the ocean is stop eating them and we can start eating sustainably by choosing the right foods. And one easy way you can do that is download the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch app. And what you do, you'll type in, uh, whenever you go to a restaurant, just type in say bluefin tuna. And this app will say, hey, don't eat bluefin tuna, that's endangered. But that white fin tuna right next to it on the menu is totally safe to eat. That's a great option. And by doing that, we can make little tiny changes in our lives to help save sharks, help save penguins, help save dolphins, polar bears. Every single animal that eats and lives in the ocean can be helped by just making very smart food choices. And then obviously little tiny things like recycling, putting your trash in the right spot, those are incredible ways we can help sharks. And obviously by learning about them, you guys get to love them just like we do. And hopefully by loving them, you guys will want to protect them and teach others about them too. So thank you guys very much for coming to learn about sharks. I'm very sorry again that we don't get to be there. <laughs> and. With that, thank you guys for checking us out. <laughs>